What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Today I'm going to share with you three more envelope returns. So I'm going to open these up and definitely check out, see who's in them. So we will start with, let's see, one postmark from Phoenix, Arizona. And that is a former minor leaguer and part of major league, I guess you would say. And that is Mr. Bo Allred. On one, two, three, and four. And if you recall one of my videos, I mentioned that I was actually trying to collect this entire 1991 score set autographed. So very happy to get that one back in the mail. I also happen to have a 1989 Canton minor league team set with Bo in it. So he signed that and returned it and also a 91 score and a 90 Donruss baseball. Uh, Mr. Allred uh, played parts of three seasons with the Cleveland Indians. Um, in total, he played from 1987 to 1994, but after the 1991 season, he never appeared in another major league game. He spent the 92, 93, and 94 seasons all in AAA, uh, 92 and 93 with the Cleveland Indians AAA organization. Then he finished his career in 1994 as an Atlanta Braves farmhand. Um, as many of you know, in 94 they had a strike shortened season and Mr. Allred was, it appears, 29, 30 years old and probably because of that strike is when he lost his job. Meaning when you're in AAA and haven't been in the majors for a couple years, it's pretty hard to bounce back after a long layoff like the strike and you know whether that's your timing your ability but also to be on the depth charts of a major league team so the strike was probably you know part of the reason that Mr. Allred you know retired at 29 years old so very happy to add those to my collection especially the 91 score rookie along with the 1989 Canton card I did actually send another player a card out of this set so hopefully we get that back in the near future and I get to share that one with you guys as well so moving on to the next one this next one is postmarked from California and that is indeed a former pitcher great from the Montreal Expos Bryn Smith on one, two, three, and four. And as you can see, I've started another monster here, guys. I've got the 82 uh, rookie card with T Tito Terry Francona on it, and also Brad Mills. And I know Mr. Francona is not the hardest to get, but uh, I don't. I don't know if I'll have as much access as I used to to him. I might have to check my collection. I may already have one of these signed by by Terry. I'd have to look. But uh, Brad Mills, I don't know anything about, so I'm going to have to do some research on him. But anyways, uh, Bren Smith, we'll talk a little bit about him, since he did in fact sign my cards, not the guys that didn't sign. And Bren Smith, for a time period, was a very, very good pitcher for the Montreal Expos, who are now the Washington Nationals. Um, despite having an excellent season, he did not make any all-star teams. Um, with the 1985 Expos, he actually had 18 wins and 5 losses with a 2.91 ERA in 1985. Uh, does not look like he was on the all-star team that year, despite having that excellent record. Um, originally, he was drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals, and he was later uh, traded to the Montreal Expos uh, for, oh, I'm sorry, 
he was not traded. The Cardinals drafted him, but he did not sign. He later became an amateur free agent and signed with the Baltimore Orioles, who in turn traded him to the Montreal Expos for a number of people. Looks like he was part of a three-player trade from the Orioles to the Expos, and the Expos got three guys back. So I'm incorrect. He was actually drafted by the Cardinals, and ironically, we'll get back to that, but uh, he did not sign and just opted to become a free agent instead uh, the following season. And he actually signed with the St. Louis Cardinals in the 1990 season. So as a free agent. So the Cardinals had to wait a little while. You know, they had to wait 12 years, it looks like. But they eventually got Bryn Smith. <laughs> Actually, more than 12 years. So it was, it was 73 when the Cardinals drafted him. He didn't pitch for the Cardinals until 1990. So about 17 years, actually. So anyways, um, so it's kind of ironic that the team that drafted him also signed him as a free agent. Now, one more thing to point out about Mr. Smith. If you're not just an Expos collector or a Cardinals collector, he also was on the inaugural Colorado Rockies team in 1993, which was his final season. A lot of people don't remember that little fact about Brent Smith, that after he left St. Louis, the Colorado Rockies signed him, and he had a pretty rough year with the Rockies at 37 years old. And after that season, he decided to retire from the game of baseball. So overall... He has 108 wins and 94 losses, so he's almost a 50-50 pitcher. Um, has an amazing 3.53 ERA for his career, which probably would have been lower if it weren't for his uh, time in Colorado. Uh, as a Montreal Expo, his career ERA was 3.28, and he had an 81-71 record. But again, his most notable year was in 1985 when he went 18-5. I will put the uh, his name down in the description so you can definitely click on his stats if that interests you any further. So, thank you Mr. Smith for signing those four. Oh, it's great to have another Montreal Expo in the collection. I love collecting teams that don't exist anymore. That's why that my last video had a, well it wasn't my last video, but one of my previous videos had a... Uh, Colt 45 autograph in it. So, all right, so we got one more here, and this one is five of five. I actually had a fifth card on this guy, so I stuck it in the mail. And this is one of my favorite players growing up as a kid, and that is Mr. Eddie Tomlinson on one, two, Donner's the rookie set that I'm collecting, three, four and five and that's that's a cool card with him catching there so uh unfortunately it looks like i didn't send him a cincinnati reds card which is the team that i saw him play for when i was growing up but uh, mr taubensey was a very unique catcher and here's why he was unique in the fact that he actually was a left-handed hitter and that's a very rare thing that you see with catchers. He's not a left-handed thrower, but a left-handed hitter. And you just don't see that too often in catchers. I mean, occasionally you see a switch hitting catcher. Todd Hunley comes to mind off the top of my head. But, you know, you, you just do not see left-handed bats that are typically catchers. So he's a very unique person in that aspect. Um, he played, as you can see, for the Cleveland Indians on, you know, the first card there. Uh, he came up through their system. However, he was traded, I believe, to Houston in 1992. And I will tell you for who in a second here. So, most notably, this is how the Cleveland Indians made the trade with Houston. The Indians traded him, along with Willie Blair, to the Astros for Kenny Lofton and Dave Rode. Now, if you don't know who Kenny Lofton was, Kenny Lofton on the Cleveland Indians was the catalyst for many years as their leadoff hitter uh, playing for the Cleveland Indians in their World Series team. So, uh, 
Eddie played for the Astros through 1994. Then he was traded to the Cincinnati Reds, uh, which is where he really came into his own. Uh, he played for the Reds for, looks like, seven years after he was with the Astros, and that's when he really hit, hit the ground running as a good catcher. Uh, his best season was in 1999, where he batted 311 and hit 21 home runs. So that's pretty good production from your catching position, in my opinion. All right, sorry about that. My allergies are just giving me the, you know, stuffiness about right now. So I just sneezed, so I had to kind of edit that out of the video. But um, Eddie played for the Reds. Then he actually went back for his final season with Cleveland in 2001, and that was his final year in the majors, where he uh, looks like he was basically a backup catcher for the for the Indians that year. So, very happy that Mr. Taubensy signed those. Again, I'm trying to collect this set, you know, completely signed. So, knock one more off the list there. Uh, thank you, Mr. Smith, for also signing. And thank you, Mr. Allred, for signing those cards as well and knocking another card out of my collection for one of the sets I'm trying to collect. Again, if anybody has cards from these two sets, this Taubensy and this All Red card, uh, definitely send me a message and uh, maybe we can work out some sort of trade or deal. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching another episode through my allergies here and uh, look forward to seeing your comments below and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. Bye.